Hello everyone. This is Dr. Ranaga and this is Dr. Praveen Jacob. He is the consultant in Veda Wellness Center, Nisargamane, adjunct professor of KSEGDE Medical College and scientific advisor to Alpha Natural. Doctor, we welcome you to the show today. So friends, let us see about omega-3 fatty acids and how it is a wonder fatty acid to battle against COVID. We have here with us Dr. Praveen who is going to explain us about how omega-3 acts on your immune system and helps to boost the immunity to fight against all kinds of infections. Doctor, over to you. Yeah. So omega-3, I love to call it miraculous fatty acids. Okay. So wonder fatty acids. Mm -hmm. The human brain is made up of omega-3 fatty acids like mm -hmm. EPA and DHA. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic fat for our heart. It's good for skin. Mm -hmm. The benefits are really enormous. Mm -hmm. But recent studies suggest that Omega-3 plays a vital role in controlling inflammation. Okay. So inflammation, definitely we require inflammation to flush out bacteria, virus. Mm -hmm. But if inflammation is overdriven, that would have devastating side effects. Mm -hmm. So inflammation is mediated by a type of fire. We can see that immune cells mm -hmm. produce toxins, which can definitely compact virus and bacteria. But in a, some point of time, maybe in two or three days of infection, that should get terminated. Okay. If it continues, mm -hmm. that leads to chronic disease. Mm -hmm. So omega-3's major role is to terminate infection, the intensity of infection. Okay. So as doctor said, omega-3 plays a major role in terminating the inflammation and infection. So let us see more about it. Yeah, blood omega-3 fatty acid and death from COVID-19, a pilot study, mm -hmm. 100 patients in ICU was tracked okay. and their omega-3 status mm -hmm. and scientists estimated how much omega-3 is found in their body mm -hmm. by analyzing the cell wall. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, they found that those who have better omega-3 concentration in cell wall, mm -hmm. in tissues, mm -hmm. are 70 percent less likely to die from COVID complications. It's a huge, okay. it's really yes. enormous, 70% yes. yes. of the death rate can be minimized by adding omega-3 fatty acids, Okay. long chain omega-3, marine based long chain omega-3 fatty acids are mm -hmm. very significant here. Okay. So sir, the study says that 70% of the mortality rate reduced. But can we know the molecular basis of how this actually works? Yeah, definitely. And there is two types of fatty acids, omega-6 and omega-3. Mm. Both are very crucial to mediate infection and inflammation. Yes. So they are the weapons to battle with the microbes. Mm -hmm. And omega-6 and omega-3, mm -hmm. they are like switches, two switches. Okay. So omega-6 mm -hmm. signal to start the firing. Mm -hmm. And omega-3 control that fire. Okay. So both are important. Like omega-6 initiate mm -hmm. the process of inflammation mm -hmm. and omega-3 in a short span of days. Mm -hmm. So the initial phases, like once the virus enters your body mm -hmm. or microbes enter, three to four days, there should be intense fire. Yes. And it should subside after four days. Yes. So the omega-3 start working after four days. Okay. So it's like an extinguisher. Mm -hmm. Reduce the fire of infection. Okay. So we don't get much tissue damage. Okay. Yeah. So you said that omega-6 is equally important. And omega-3 is equally important. important. Yeah. So friends, if you are not having enough amount of omega-3 fatty acids, that is EPA and DHA, then even after the period of 3 to 4 days, there will be higher levels of inflammation which is bad for your body. There will be collateral damage, not just uh, damage to the virus, but damage to all your body cells as well. So it is really, really important to control that fire after the initial period. And for that, omega-3 fatty acids are the most important ones. So, doctor, there is something about resolvents and protectants. Yeah, this Can is a recent uh, molecule, it? recent discovery, very recent discovery. Scientists mm -hmm. found that omega-3 mm -hmm. in our tissues convert into a powerful molecule called as resolvin. As okay. name suggests, mm -hmm. they are indulged with the resolution of the inflammation, okay. infection. So after a battle, mm -hmm. there will be lots of debris of, mm -hmm. you know, the gun and fire. Mm -hmm. And those debris has to be instantly removed from the site of 
yeah. bacteria. Similarly, the virus mm -hmm. and immune cells, uh, there is an intense war mm -hmm. which produce debris. Yeah. So that debris can damage our lung tissues, can okay. damage our blood vessels, okay. leading to complications. Okay. So these debris are mm -hmm. removed by a molecule called as resolvin, mm -hmm. which is a derivative of omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, omega-3 fatty acid is not just necessary to reduce the inflammation, but also to clear the debris of the uh, inflammatory phase. And there is one more study which says resolvents and protectants. British Journal of Pharmacology, yeah. JP, British Journal of Pharmacology. Pharmacology. Yes. Yeah, and that says that resolvent and protectin helps in mediating solutions to inflammation. Yeah, so there are huge, huge number of studies mm -hmm. strongly suggest the best anti-inflammatory molecule mm -hmm. is a fatty acid called okay. as omega-3 fatty acids, okay. marine-based omega-3. Mm -hmm. And I remind you, omega-3 from flaxseed mm -hmm. does not have any benefit. Okay. It's all about long chain omega-3 fatty acids. So you should be able to distinguish mm -hmm. alpha-linolenic acid, a short chain omega-3 fatty acid okay. and long chain. If you are looking forward to procure mm -hmm. omega-3 fatty acid, you should be able to distinction alpha-linoic acid, a short chain omega-3 okay. and long chain. Don't go behind short chain, no benefit for short chain. It's okay. all about long chain omega-3 fatty acids. Okay. So as doctor said, the alpha-linolenic acid that is short chain omega-3 fatty acid that is found in flax seeds and other plant-based uh, omega-3 fatty acids that are derived, these fatty acids to convert to EPA and DHA, it is just 1 to 5 percent, which means the body cannot convert all the amount of fatty acids that you take. So, uh, the better and the best thing is to take long chain fatty acids directly, that is marine based fatty acids. So, doctor, thank you for letting us know about omega 3 fatty acids and how it is so much useful in boosting our immunity especially in the anti-inflammatory phase, that is immediately after the inflammation. So, I hope you all take enough amount of omega-3 fatty acids and stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.